fight Time to see what life takes me So I roll the dice Look up to no one else But yeah, I was shy I got real power Hebrew is a lie And we live in the ghettos Blacks and Latinos We live at the bottom of society And this brother's gonna tell you How we get back on top, right? So hold on Give us one more second Exactly So you see the sign right here, sister? Y'all see the sign? What is, what, is, what is on the sign? What do y'all see? Come on, sister, with the phone. What do you see on this sign? What do you see on this sign? It's very important. This has to do with our history. What do you see? You may have to get closer. All right? What do you see on this sign? Ezekiel 39, 22. Lamentations 5 and 3, where you got it. What do y'all see? Do y'all see good prosperity? Do you see people laughing and joking? I mean, now this is the Hispanics, right? Yeah, but we turn it around. Hold on. This is your uncle. It's your great grandfather, great 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 grandfather, right? These are our these are our, our, our family members. But you know, all these things are documented in the Holy Bible for our learning, for our children to learn. Right, right. And we haven't learned these things other than Martin Luther King, damn Malcolm X, maybe, right? Damn Rosa Parks. But what about the things that's documented in the Bible having to do with our slavery? You said what? Right, you got a like, question? Uh, I'm, look, I'm going to show you something. That you probably, like I said, y'all believe in a God or a higher power? Have you ever been to church? Yeah, I know we all been drugged to church before. Right? It's, mm -hmm. a, good, it's a good time to nap. Right? But when you, you open up this Bible, it actually teaches nah, you something nah. you're, you're not going to hear in school. Or me what you got book of Ezekiel chapter 39 verse 22. Listen to this. Listen to this. Read this. So the house of Israel. So the house of Israel. So when you look on the sign, this is the house of Israel. Before 1619, 1542, 1511, before we were saying blacks, bad bitches, and then hoes and thoughts and, and nigga and all of those words, right? African American, you were the house of Israel. Right? Read on. So the house of of Israel shall know that I am the Lord their God from that day and forward in the heathen who in the heathen who are the heathens the heathens are the nation God the nations that God doesn't do, uh, doesn't know that he's not dealing with these are the heathens these are the nations that put you in slavery right read on and the heathen shall know I whistle burn her ear for two minutes you gotta listen to this real quick and the heathen shall know that the house of Israel went into captivity. Went into captivity. For their iniquity. You know what captivity means? What does that mean? When I put you captive, when I hold you captive. Slavery. So the house of Israel shall know they went into slavery for their sins. So why did we go into slavery? So what? Huh? That's not what the Bible just said. The Lord just said we went into slavery for our sins. Right. You said the just they want to put us to work so they're gonna grab us up and put us to slavery, like you gonna vote for that? No! The Lord put us to slavery. <laughs> yeah, they want to put us to work, so we said, alright. That's evil. Right? No, the Lord put us into slavery because of, Yeah, because we went into slavery for our sins. Now what is sin? If I may ask you. What is sin? We went in a lot, like what? Give me an example. I mean, you went into, your foremothers went into slavery for their sins out of the out of the word of God. Right. So we need to know what slavery is. I mean, what sin is. So we can get out of slavery. You can participate too, right? I mean, we're just trying to pick y'all brain and trying to educate y'all a little bit because a lot of our youth, they don't know this. They don't know they're still in slavery right now. Do y'all feel like y'all still in slavery? What are you? You feel kind of free? All right, go leave this country and let's see what they say. Let's see how free you are. All right. Huh? You only feel free? No, I'm saying, leave this country without asking for permission. Let's see how free you are. They're not going to let you. They're going to ask for identification, social security, passport. Oh, you don't got that? Yeah, go back to your house on 63rd and, and let's see if you're gonna try to go to England somewhere. Right. You're not free here, sister. Right. You gotta pay taxes. I mean, let you not have a job. 
you, I mean, you, you're not free here. You got bills, you got rent, phone bill, light bill, gas bill, insurance, let you buy a house. Oh, you got property taxes, mortgage. Sis, you're not free here. We, oh, we are not free here as a people, man. You said what? I mean, did God say in Genesis 1 and 1, right, God made heaven and earth and taxes? He didn't make that. Do you know taxes is a form of slavery? Taxes is a form of slavery. Go to the book of Judges chapter 5 and verse 11. So after they enslaved you, after they enslaved you, they said, hold on, Abraham Lincoln came on the scene. I hope y'all paying attention. Abraham Lincoln came on the scene and said, okay, let's make them think they're free and let's put them on a taxation. You're still subject to payments. Go to Baruch chapter 3 and verse 8. Read what you got. It's the book of Judges chapter 5 verse 11. Look They that are delivered from the noise of the archers right. in the places of drawing water, right. there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. Right. So we're in we're in that place. We're in slavery. You got to pay taxes. You got to pay different things. You're in slavery to this very day. So no, you're not free, sister. Every other nation looks at you with an evil eye on purpose. But the reason we're telling you this is how do we get out of this position? What do we do? How do we get out of being the lowest people on the earth? This is very serious information. I mean, we're looking for answers. A lot of our forefathers were looking for answers and they got them murdered to death. I mean, read what you got, King. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. What? We are yet this day in our captivity. Right? Where thou hast scattered us for reproach and a curse. In the green hat. In the green hat. You know what? We're going to let the word of the Lord go on. We are, go to Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 4. Go to Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 4. Brother, we are looking for wise people out here that want knowledge and wisdom. We're looking for wise men and wise women. We're looking for people that understand knowledge. We're looking for people that want to know about their history. That want to know how to get out of this place, man. Right. Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 4. Proverbs chapter 1 and 4. Give subtly to the simple. Right. To the young man, knowledge and discretion. Right. So we're trying to give subtlety to the simple and to the young man, knowledge and discretion. Right. Go to the book of Second Ezra, chapter fifteen and verse one. We are here to teach the people that want to understand, man. Not stare blankly in your face when you ask them the question, man. Right. We're looking for educated men and women. Yeah, yeah, we understand. Right. It's the words of the Lord. You're not the first ones, and you probably never will hear this again. Right. I mean, you totally disrespected the name of the Lord, man. Up here teaching you something, giving you the treasures of the hearts of the Lord, man. And, and, and yeah, we understand you gotta go, man. Huh? It's not, yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's not surprising. We understood. We read the spirit. Wisdom doesn't dwell in that tabernacle. Read what you got. Look at Second Edges, chapter fifteen, and verse one. Freak it out. Behold, speak down in the ears of my people right. the words of prophecy. The words of what? The, the words, words of prophecy, prophecy. Which I will put in thy mouth, right. saith the Lord. Uh -huh. And cause them to be written in paper, right. for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Uh -huh. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Right. For all they are faithful, the Lord said, for all the unfaithful shall die in the what? Shall die in their unfaithfulness. Hey, so all the unfaithful gonna die in their unfaithfulness, man. Right. I mean, that's just what's gonna happen, man. Right? You gonna you just gonna I gotta go, and guess what? Yeah, you go. You have to go into the lake of fire. Right. You have to go uh, with them arrows are shot in the ends of the earth, man. You go and go, all right? right? Six feet deep in that damn grave, man. Right. And you not coming back up until the Lord resurrects you and then puts you back in that grave, man. That's right. I mean, that's what's gonna happen. Go to the book of John, chapter five, and verse number twenty-seven. There's yeah. gonna be a resurrection of the dead and uh, uh, um, for the just and the unjust, man. And I didn't want to even go into that, man. But the Spirit just kind of led me to that because a lot of Israelites. They don't understand what's really about to come to them. Sister said, I feel free. That's just the cost of living. What do you mean that's just the cost? Ask the so-called white man, does he feel like uh, 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 th there should be a damn cost of living? He's going to look at you like, no, nah, what are you talking about? I was born into this. Right. Jake, for you, it's the cost of living. For the so-called white man, that's just his heaven. You know, read this. What's going on, brother? We're looking for you all day. Brother, clap it up, man. Hey, brother, where you been at, man? Come up here for two seconds. Two seconds, brother. Come on, brother. Come on, brother. Oh, we gotta do that for every Israelite that walk past, man. We're gonna catch a lot more sheep like that. Read what you got. 
This is the book of John, chapter 5, verse 27. It have given him authority to execute judgment also because... What's going on, brother? How you, how you doing, brother? Where you been at, brother? Come up here, brother. Two minutes, but check, check it out, brother. All right, all right, I'm gonna start from the top. This is the book of John, chapter 5, verse 27. It, it have given him authority to execute judgment also because he is the son of man. Marvel not at this, for the hour is come into which all that are. Sisters. What's going on, sisters? Two minutes. Come up here, sisters. We've been looking for you all day, sisters. Come up, come up for this, sisters, man. Come up, come on, all right, sisters. It's gonna turn green again. Come up here, sisters. Two, two minutes. All right, we got the some timers. One minute, 57 seconds. Right, Marvel not at this, for the hour is coming. The Lord said, Marvel not at this, for the hour is coming. The Lord said, don't be surprised. The hour is coming, man. Don't marvel at it. The hour is coming. The, hey, the, the day of the Lord draweth nigh, man. Right. In the which all that are in the graves shall hear his voice. It shall come forth. They that have done good. They that have done what? They that have done good. Unto the resurrection of life. So that's what brothers is looking for. We're looking for the resurrection of life. All right. We're looking to be raised out of this, uh, 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 out of the grave, man. And a brother still alive, raised out of this prison, which we call a body, man. We, re we, will we are willing, and Lord willing, we can see that day, man. We don't. And they that have done evil, and they that have done what? And they that have done evil, and they that walk away from the words of the Lord, and they that have done evil. Unto the resurrection of the nation. Of what? Of the nation. Of what? Of the nation. That's what y'all got coming. The resurrection of damnation, man. Right. right? Damnation. That's what the Lord said. Ain't no coming back from that, man. Right. I mean, you're going to uh, uh, utterly feel pain on the earth, man. What's going on, brother? I've been looking for you all day, man. Come up for the brother, man. Come up, brother. Come up here, brother. No, but oh, 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 sign me out. Come up here, brother. All right? All right, you an Israelite king. Repent and keep God's commandments, man. Right. All right, go to Second Ezra chapter nine and verse ten. What would you hold? Okay, come. All right, go to Second Ezra chapter nine and verse ten, man. Right, there's gonna be a resurrection of the just and the unjust, man. Right. right? And we gonna get more about the punishment to the wicked, man. Right. What, uh, uh, what's gonna happen to them in the day of the Lord? Go to Zephaniah chapter one and verse fifteen. Read what you got. This is the book of Second Ezra chapter nine and verse ten. Verse one. So like in verse 9, then shall they be in pitiful case. What's going on, brother? Brother. brother. Come on, brother. Come on, like I've been doing good too, brother. It's okay. It's okay. Then shall they be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they that have cast them away despitefully. Shall dwell in torment. Shall dwell in what? Shall dwell in torment. So you have a lot of people that live in torment, man. Right. I mean, you're going to dwell in torments, man. You thought this was bad? You thought this slavery was bad? You thought this captivity was bad, man? The Lord said you're going to dwell in torments. Right. That's what's coming in the next life, man. Right. People dwelling in torments, living in true and utter destruction, man. Read on. For such as in their life have received benefits. They receive benefits, man. You see, well, you see people walk around here with AirPods all the damn time. They're listening to music. Right, they got their damn suit on, man. Right. Jake think he doing something with his damn Louis loafers, man. Right, right. he may have a good, a good job living in one of these glass pit houses, man. Right, right, and, and the Lord gives them benefits. They can wake up, they can breathe, get some breakfast, do what they do, man. Right, may have a family, but the Lord said, "What? Read on." For such as in their life have received benefits right. and have not known me, they have not known know what, have, have not, not known, known me. me, even when we try to introduce. Them to the Lord, they said we don't want to know the Lord, man. Right. I mean, we giving them a clear chance to introduce you to the God that's loading you with benefits daily, man. Clear, clear. like the brother said, clear, man. We're trying to introduce you to the God that allows you to do everything in this world, man. That allows you to walk, that allows you to breathe, allow you to talk, man. Right? But a lot of people they don't want to hear the words of the Lord, man. Right? right let's get an example of somebody that may not want to hear the words of the Lord. Y'all two sisters at the light. Two sisters at the light. Two sisters. What's going on, sisters? Y'all believe in God? We got great information for black people you've never heard before. Two minutes. Two minutes. Come up here for two minutes. Real you've never heard this before. You've never heard this before. Guaranteed. 
Why y'all waiting at the light two minutes? And there you have it. There's two people that's going to dwell in torments for not wanting to know the name of the Lord. I mean, there you have it. I mean, we can't make this up. And, well, and, 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 she, she, and like I said, she, she, she thinks she look good. Right? She walking across the street. She got, you know, she got benefits. You know what I'm saying? The Lord loaded her daily with benefits. And guess what? They're going to be the same ones calling unto a God, man. Huh? And he said, I, I don't know you. Because you, you, you didn't even want to know me. All right, read on. Verse 11. And they that have loved at my law, have loved at my law, while they yet, while they had yet liberty. Yeah, liberty. I mean, they got liberty to go into a cure. You got liberty to go get some food. You had, the Lord gives you liberty to do certain things. Right. Right, read on. And when as yet, place of repentance was open unto them. Right. Understood not. Understood what? Understood, understood not. not. Hey, wisdom didn't dwell in that tabernacle. What's going on, brother? How you doing, brother? Come up here for two seconds, man. All right, we doing? Understood not, but despised. But did what? But despised it. The same who? The same same people that despise the Lord's law, that loathe the Lord's law, that understood it not. Read on. The same must know it after death. No, they're never gonna know it. After they're death. They're gonna know it after death by what? By right. pain. Feel good. By I pain. Can't wait to get there. By right. pain. The Lord said they gonna know it after death by multiple pains, man. Right. The Lord going to beat it in them, man. The Lord going to have to open them up with a nuclear fireball, man. Right. And they're gonna have to know the law after death by pain. Right. Whether they understand now or whether they understand later, they're going to know it after death by pain, man. And yeah, we may just be a few brothers up here, man. But in that day, it's going to be an army of the Lord. Right. And you want to bow down to Yahweh Shem Yahweh right. And you want to know in that day, hey, hey, guess what? It is what it is. You want to dwell in torments, man. Right. So live it up here. Do what you want to do, right? Because in that day, submission is coming by force. Look what you got, King. Look at Zephaniah chapter 1 and verse 15. The day, so like if that day is a day of wrath. A day of trouble right. and distress. And what? And, and distress. Day right. A day of wasteness and desolation. A day of darkness and gloominess. A day of clouds and thick, and thick darkness. I mean, do you hear that? Does that sound good? Does that sound like a day of the Lord? I mean, that sounds like the day of the Lord. But does that sound like an average day that you just want to walk and be, hold, you know, be on the phone and hold a Chipotle bag? No. Oh. no. Jason, come up here, brother. Check it out, brother. How you doing here? You went to school him? Went to school him? Jason! Jason! See, that's how I get Jason back up here. <laughs> right? There ain't gonna be no more damn Jasons holding Chipotle bags, man. This is gonna be straight death and clouds and darkness, man. Ain't, ain't gonna be no more damn Jasons with damn bear hoodies, man. Right? You say his name is Jason? Yeah, man. Jason Wills. See that? See that? Hey, man. If y'all know what Jason Wells telling me, you gotta repent and keep the commandments, man. Right. Jason Wells, if you watching this, I see you just walk past. You watching this? You gotta repent and keep the commandments, man. Right. Right. All right. Read, read on what right. you got. Verse sixteen. Oh. A day of the trumpet. Right. And alarm against the fence city. It's gonna be an alarm against the fence. Chicago's a fence city, man. Right. Right. Can't just get into Chicago, man. Right. You can't just get into New York, man. If you already in, uh, not already in the states, man. Right. But it's a fence city. And the Lord said he's going to blow a trumpet. What does that trumpet mean? Hold that. Go to Joel 2 and 1. Let's see what these trumpets mean. Let's see what these trumpets mean. Let's see it's going to be a, 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 a trumpet like you're in a, 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 a what, is it, what is it called? A band? Right? Musician? All right. All right. Read this. It's the book of Joel chapter 2 verse 1. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm. And sound an alarm. And sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. Do what? Tremble. Now that's what's going to happen when the Lord blows an alarm against the fenced cities. People are going to be trembling. Right, right. People are going to be shaking. They're going to look at what the hell is that? You're not going to be able to turn it off, man. People are going to be trying to go in their house. They're going to try to put their, their head under the damn pillow. Man, make it stop. It ain't going to stop. It's going to be a trumpet blown in the city, man. Right. Right? And people are going to be trembling. Kyle, you got it. Amos chapter 3 and verse number 6 Shall a trumpet be blown in the city? Shall a trumpet be blown in the city? And the people not be afraid? And the people not be afraid? And people gonna be afraid?
be afraid, man. Women gonna be afraid. What your 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 um your haughty women that think you gotta go 50-50 in the household. They gonna be looking for a man in that day. God. They gonna be running to a man of the Lord, man. God. I don't gotta go 50-50 no more. Right? Right. They don't they look, man, they gonna be they gonna be scared as all hell in that day. They're not gonna know what to do, what to say, how to react, where to go to, other than the men of the Lord, man. Right. And even when they thought they found an idea, okay, the men of the Lord, they out there at Hyde Park. Sister. Sister. All right? Sister in the, with, with the water bottle. Ah, she sounded that time. Right. Ah, it's nicely. Right? But it's okay because she's going to tremble as well in that day. All of them will. Right? Read on. It's like it. Shall there be evil in a city? And the Lord have not done it? Surely the Lord Yahweh will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophet. And the Lord is telling us and showing us what's actually going to happen upon this earth, man. Right. And that there will be trembling. Go back to that in Zephaniah chapter 1. A day, it's like in verse 16. A day of the trumpet and alarm against the fifth cities and against the high towers. Sister Nakira back. What's going on with you, sister? Come on. Two seconds, sister. Two minutes. Yeah. Read on. And against the high towers. And I will bring distress upon men. I will do what? I will bring distress upon men. Yeah, you thought you had a bad day because your damn bills was overdue and cut off your lights, man. You thought you was distressed. You was holding your head down. You didn't know what you was going to do. I got to get this money. Right? Yeah, you was just going through distress. You're not going to feel distress until you feel distress like this day right here, man. You're not going to feel distressed until this day come upon you, man. If you haven't been keeping the Lord's commandments, if you haven't been having faith in the Lord, if you've been withering, not having integrity, doing you know the truth, but you decide not to do it, doing evilness before the eyes of the Lord, man, not having any honor, the Lord said, guess what? You, this distress is going to come upon you. You know what? They that walk, like, and I will bring distress upon men, that they shall walk like blind men. They, say walk like what? they shall they walk, walk like, like blind men, right? because they have sinned against the Lord, right. and their blood shall be poured out as dust. As what? As, as dust. dust. I mean, think about pouring out sand. It goes, it gets everywhere, man. Right. Hey, going to the damn beach, man. Sand gets everywhere. You think about the Lord as a big bag pouring it out as dust. That's like blood, man. Right? That's what the Lord said. That's what's going to happen to the wicked that's trembling. Right? Go to the... Actually, read Ezekiel chapter 6. Go to Jeremiah 23 and 20. It's the book of Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 1. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Also, thou son of man, thus said the Lord God. Said who? Thus said the Lord God. We got a message from God. And we want to show you the message of God. Whether y'all want to hear it, like it, believe it, understand it or not. This is from God. Read That said the Lord God unto the land of Israel. To the who? Unto the land of Israel. In the land of Israel, man. It's the high part. This is where all the Israelites dwell, man. Read on. And in the end is come upon the four corners of the land. What the Lord say? The end. end. The end is come upon the four corners of the land. The end coming upon the four corners of the land, man. Right. But you don't see people taking heed, man. You don't see people really understanding what's happening, man, around the world, man. I mean, this world is collapsing, man. Right? And you think America's gonna fall? You, I mean, you out your damn mind, man. You think America won't fall? You out your damn mind. Right. All these empires are collapsing, man. I mean, Europe is utterly on fire. They don't know what they're doing over there, man. Hades, Hades controlled you know, by, by, uh, by Levi over there, man. Right? All praise to the most high. Right? You got Levi, Levi doing their thing over there, man. Right? But it's okay. The Lord said, guess what? An end has come upon the four corners of the land. Right? Read on. You see yourself on the sign, brother? Right here. The ethnicity. Where you see yourself at? We got great news for you if you do. Uh, American black. Okay, do you believe in a higher power? Yeah. What you believe? Like, what, what type of God or religion do you believe in? I mean, not nothing not specific. Okay, you ever read the Bible? What? You ever read the Bible? Um, you, a little bit, yeah. A little bit. Would you say you subscribe to it, like uh, your belief or your God? I mean, what, what, what's your point? 
my point is is because we're trying to figure out if you i mean if you have a higher power if you believe in a higher power because if you do this bible is actually talking about our people right. it actually has our history in this bible right and a lot of people they may say they believe in a bible but they never knew that let me show you for example go to deuteronomy 28 and 68 this is i mean christian pastors a, a lot of our people go to you know christian church you may know your grandmother your aunt they go to christian church but they don't read these verses in the Bible. All they do is collect money and dance up and down all day. All right, let me show you something. Read this. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So we may have a slight history lesson. What were the Hebrews doing in Egypt? Do you, do you know how the pyramid got there, the Sphinx? What, what happened? They built it. Did they get paid for it? No. No, that's called what? That's slavery. Yeah, so the look. Well, yeah. So you have multiple nations in Egypt that were slaves. But remember, the Lord said, "Let my people go," which were the Hebrews. Now, after He let them go, He's. But he said, the Hebrews said, my, that, "That's God's people." But now you got people saying that Egyptians were black and then Egyptians. Were black. That's confusion. You see that? That's the confusion. Right. Because think yeah. about it. There, there's a difference between uh, Africans and, Israel, uh, and, and uh, Hebrews because why did the Egyptians have the Hebrews in slavery? Well, see, that's the problem now because right. they said everybody came from Africa. So who's African and who's not? And that's, and that's why people don't read the Bible. I'm going to show you. Go to Exodus 11 and 7. Look at Exodus 11 and 7. Yeah. But against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue against man or beast that ye may know how that the Lord doth put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. There's a difference between Africans and Israelites. Right. Egyptians and Israel. Right. We look at our skin, it has a glow to it. We look at African skin, it just look like charcoal. Right. And, they, and they put damn rings in their lips. We don't even move in the same spirit. Right? Because we are Israelites or Hebrews. And I'm going to show you because the Lord said he's going to bring us into another Egypt or another slavery again if we were to break his commandments. Now let's see how these... What talking about let me show you, brother. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna explain to you. It's history that you haven't been taught. That's why it's so confusing sometimes. But when you read this, you're gonna have a clear understanding on why we move a certain way. Read this. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Into slavery again. With what? With, with ships. ships. With what? With, with ships. ships. What race of people or what ethnicity of people on the face of the earth went into mass cargo slave ships, mass cargo slavery by the millions on slave ships? Okay. Well, I'm asking, what people? I mean, that, as you just read, basically black people. Black, black, but the Lord is talking to the Hebrews. Right. But, so who are the Hebrews? Right, but I'm saying... What about now? I'm just, I'm not debating. No, no, I got I'm, you. I'm just saying, what about now? What about us now? We're still the Hebrews. Right. That's but, the point. But you saying that we're still the Hebrews. Right. But my point is, uh -huh. how can you actually prove that through, throughout the, the centuries? Because eventually we all mixed with something. We all blended with something. We all just can't come from, like I said, I'm not debating. I'm no, I got you. Numbers I'm just saying that we at some point, we got to dismiss, like, our, dismiss all of that and actually know where we came from with proof. That's, that's what we're proving to you. Right. Prophecy. Prophecies are foretelling of the because, future. No, I'm saying because you say, oh, we the people, and then you're going to have people that are, you know, all of a sudden be woke and say, oh, we're the Jews. We are the Jews. And then, and then, Hebrews are Jews. Then, but, but here's my point. But then, I, I guess what I'm saying is, there's always going to be somebody that's going to wake up and then they're going to say well we're British well we're actually Russian and then they're going to I mean and then, like, at some point right when I'm where's going, the truth we, we, we are right and serve God under one son but that's the thing how can you serve a God if you don't know who you are right that's the point that's what we're trying to let you know is okay there's always going to be somebody that says something different but there has to be archaeological evidence there has to be prophecy there has to be evidence behind what they're saying our evidence is the word of the Lord God because you have to think about it what book in the world can prophesy something 5,000 years in advance so my question is did Jesus care who anybody was yes really yes Give me that. Uh, he is an Israelite indeed. John 1 and 47. I'm going to show you. In the, go to Matthew 15 and 21. Jesus out. Christ cared about identity and race in the Bible. And this is why I say Christian churches have, have done a 
great disservice to our people because they have not taught our people the actual truth of the Bible, but gave them what we call it is religion. Right? Read what you got. Ma book of Matthew chapter 15, verse 21. Then Jesus went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. Tyre and Sidon are African or Hamite nations. Read on. And behold, a woman of Canaan, of Canaan, come out of the same coast and cry unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. So she knew she was the son of David. King David was an Israelite. Read on from the tribe of Judah. Read on. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. But he answered her not a word. The word. He answered her not a word. Why did Jesus Christ ignore a Canaanite woman? Hold on. We're going to read on. Read on. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, send her away. Send her away. For she craved after us. Lord, hey, can you get this woman up, this African-ass woman up out of here, man? She said, hey, man, she, she annoying us now, too. I'm going to show you. Read on. Verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent. What did he say? I am not sent. But unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. No, I care about all races. The house of Israel. The Lord's only sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The people that need God or need their identity are the people that's lost. We are the only people that identifies themselves as a Crayola color on the face of the earth. Right. But he came down from that bloodline. That's why he said it. Huh? He came from that bloodline. Yeah, he's a Hebrew. Brother, we're Hebrews. That's what he's telling you. We're the same people that don't that are lost sheep that don't so know who they are. My question is, what about everybody else? Why do you care about everybody else? They don't care about you. We learned our history. I mean, they Jesus, teach you. I'm just saying, Jesus cared about people. The only, the only Which people? Thing, the, only, the only, from what I'm saying, right. the only people that he really didn't care about was those who was of the Pharisees and the Sadducees who were preaching pretty much hypocrisy throughout the land. Go to John 3 1. Well, hold on. What you got? I got you. So, Jesus Christ, like I said, he cared about the Jews and the so, so why would he say that he died for our sins? Whose sins? That's what I'm asking. Our sins. Who's our? Mankind. All nine billion people that's on But that's the earth. thing. Who taught you that? Because that's not in the Bible. That's not in there. He only died for one group. Go to Acts 13 to 23. He only died for one. In the New Testament, he only died for one well, group of people. We can break that down for you too, brother. See, that's the thing. That's, and that's why we love these dialogues. Because, because, because it just sounds, it sounds like. It's the book of Acts chapter 13, verse 33. Bring it up. Acts chapter 13, verse 33. Acts chapter 13, verse 3. So like 23. And when he had removed him, he raised up unto them David to be their king right. to whom also he gave a testimony and said I have found David the son of Jesse a man after my own heart which shall fulfill all my will of this man's of this man's seed have God according to his promise raised unto Israel raised unto, raise unto Israel a savior a savior a savior Israelites need a savior that's only for his people so let's go to John 3 16 go to John 3 16 go to numbers chapter 21 and verse number 7 hold numbers 21 and verse 7 I'm gonna show you something real quick now the the, the question on the table is if you no know, Jesus Christ is he for everyone? Does he love everyone? Right? He's not just for one particular race or group of people, but that's contrary according to the Bible. Right? That's what Christian church or Christianity or Catholicism has taught you. They taught you to hate your people and love the enemy. That's why they use John 3 16. That's why they gave you the slave Bible and that and they said you can't read. If you're allowed to read the Bible. Right. They're allowed to serve God, but through the Israelites. That's right. But talk about the, the whole world. The whole world just don't include. What, what is a world? The not being people that's world and earth are two separate things. World is a society of people. We're in the world. Right. 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 We're on earth. That's the world. Earth and world are two different things. You have earth. You have the you have the sea world. You have the world of sports. 
you have the Jurassic Park world. Those are so, those are those are societies of people. Okay, so what, what would you describe? What, what we on now? We're on Earth. Earth. But you have a we have multiple worlds. Let me show you something. Well, Read this. I'm talking about the, the one that we in now. I got you. I'm gonna bring it up. Right. It's the book of. It's the book of John, chapter three, verse sixteen. Bring it out. For God so loved the world. Verse fourteen. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. So now you have Nicodemus. He's a Jew, talking to Christ, who is a Jew, talking about the Israelites. So hold on. Yeah, he but he's a, a ruler of the Jews, which makes him a Jew, right? So you have a Jew talking to another Jew about the Jews. Now we're starting from verse 14 to receive context. So as Moses in the wilderness, read on. No, Even said, so. Wait, 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 wait. You said Nicodemus, right? Yes. Nicodemus was a Pharisee who spoke to Jesus in the dark. Right. That Bible, well, a Bible says that Jesus told him what's in the light, what you were doing in the dark, was eventually come into the light. That's a whole different account. It's yes, Luke 12 and 1. But that's a different person. What are John 3 and 1? It's the book of John chapter 3 verse 1. Yeah. There was a man of the Pharisees right. named Nicodemus, right. a ruler of the Jews. A, a ruler of the, of the Jews. Jews. Right. So, Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews, is talking to Christ, a Jew. Read on. The same came to Jesus by night. Now we understand who was talking. Go to verse 14. Verse 14. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, right. Even so, must the Son of Man be lifted up. Who did Moses lift up the serpent in the wilderness for? Who? What group of people? All right, read on. Read this. Numbers 21 and 7. We're going to get the context. Look at Numbers chapter 21. I'm sorry, verse 6. Verse 6. And the Lord sent fiery serpents among the people. Right. And they bit the people. Right. And much people of Israel. Of who? Of Israel. Of Israel. Died. Right. Therefore, the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned, for we have spoken against the Lord, Yahweh, right. and against thee. Right. Pray unto the Lord that he take away the serpents from us. Right. And Moses prayed for the people. Right. And the Lord said unto Moses, Make thee a fiery, a fiery serpent. Do what? Make, Make thee a fiery serpent. serpent. Moses held up the fiery serpent in the wilderness for Israelites. So now you have an Israelite, a Jew named uh, Nicodemus, coming to Christ, who's a Jew, talking about the Israelites. The same way that Moses lifted up the uh, fiery serpent to the Israelites, so must the Son of Man be lifted up for the same Israelites that are lost sheep today. That's what he's saying. Hold on. The about exactly for one people. We but, no, but, but, I, I don't know. Like, That's what I'm saying, brother. What, what I'm Look, saying is, but then you read the scriptures mm -hmm. that talked about what the snakes did to the Israelites. Right. But the Israelites were known to be a stiff-necked people. That's not God. the point. The point where I'm trying to make is he's no, referencing the same they, thing. They, remember, they were always disobedient to God. Okay. They, God told them, don't deal with the Canaanites. They deal with the right. Canaanites. 24,000 Israelites died. That's not the point. No, no, no. It is the point because my whole point is Israel, along with everybody else that disobeyed God, paid the price. Okay. So right. my point is in John 3, 16, you're talking about the world, right? We're trying to tell you who that world is. Right. That world is the Israelites because he's referencing number one, numbers 21 and verse 7. Right. And we read down to verse 16, the same way the fiery serpents was lifted up, is the same way Christ came on the scene to be lifted up amongst his same people. Right. Read verse 15. We're going to read it on. Verse 15. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish. Right. But have eternal life. Right. For God so loved the world. For God so loved the world. For God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him. Just like the Israelites in the ancient in the wilderness. Believed on that fiery serpent. So much the son of man must be lifted up unto the world of Israel. You know what? Should not perish. Should not perish. Should not perish. Only come for the house of Israel. That's what he said in Matthew 15. That's why these verses are linking up. You said the whole world. The world. Who is the world? 
We are the world. Who's we? Go to Isaiah 45 and 17. Go to Isaiah 45 and 17. But it says, you just said the world. Right. For those who Look at Hebrews Look at Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 1. Bring it out. God, who has sundry times and in diverse manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, right. hath in these last days spoken to us by his Son, right. whom he hath appointed heir of all things, right. by whom also he made the world. He made the what? He, he made, made the, the world. world. What? He, he made, made the world. Why is there an S at the world at the end of worlds? Why? Because there's multiple worlds. It's not just one world. It's multiple worlds in the what Bible. You're saying the world is Israel. Exactly. So that particular world he's referencing so is Israel. No, it's not. There's okay, multiple so worlds in the Bible. Wait, 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 wait. In John chapter 3, verse 16, that world is talking about Israel. Right. That's what you fail to realize. You keep no, thinking no, no, earth no. and world I'm is the saying, same I'm thing. Saying, I'm saying the Hebrew scriptures prophesied about so Jesus coming. coming. Right. Today. People who believed in Jesus to have their sins forgiven. Y'all just yelled out the world. Right. This, wait, you keep this thinking world. earth this, this, and this, this, world this. is the same thing. Right. You have multiple worlds, brother. Right. You can go to Sea World. I can go to the NBA world. You have multiple worlds. Read this in right. Psalms 90 and 2. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 90 and verse 2. Bring it out. Before the mountains were brought forth or ever thou hadest formed the earth. And the world, wait, wait, the earth and the what? And the world, God formed the earth and the world. Those are two separate things. The world in John 3, 16 is talking about Israel. And I'm going to show you that, Isaiah 45 and 17. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 45, verse 17. But Israel, but Israel, but Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. These shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end world without end according to god israel is a world that doesn't even end meaning we're still a world today that's why i keep asking you say we're the world who's we brother we are a world in itself according to god so in john 3 16 that world is talking about israel brother we are a world in itself brother israel israelites so all these people can believe in jesus yes all of them. As long as they're Israelite. As long as you're born an Israelite. Exactly, brother. Ethnically. Born, Israel. born an Israelite. And brother, you are born an Israelite. Right. So you're so yeah, brother, you are an Israelite. Really? What's wrong with being that God's God's chosen? See, the thing is, right. if I told the so-called white man you God's people, he's not thinking about the niggas. Right. Well, what, about, what about black people? Right. Chinese right. man, what about black? They're not right. saying that. Right. But that's how I know we're the Israelites, because you're stuck in that damn submissive mindset to our oppressor, man. Right. Talking about what about the other nations. Right. Brother, they not thinking about you. Why you think about them? Right. You are God's people, brother. That's right. great news. I'll be jumping up and down right now. Right. You mean I'm better than a so-called white man? Right. That mean they get burnt in the sun all day? Right. I'm better than damn Joe Biden? Right. I'm better than damn uh, uh, Ching Dang Dang? Right. 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 I'm better than Lee Lee? Right. I'm better than damn girl beauty supply right. i'm better than all these nations man right. i'm the best people on the face of the earth man right. talking about what about the other nations they don't care about you so why you care about them but you got enemies man right. I don't know. I mean, the bible said god is love right go to psalms 83 no 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 no, no. i'm saying god is love what is love okay i'm asking what is love what is god, god god said do you know god has enemies god, of course he does so if god has enemies well, what, what do you think what god I'm is gonna do if I care about my Exodus fellow 15, man, Exodus 15, and I want my fellow man, did they care about you when they gave you Christianity? Hold on, the KKK believes in Christianity, right? Uh, hold on, did they care about their fellow man when they was burning them crosses on your lawn, man? I'm, I'm just so confused about us people caring about their fellow man. In the 60s, they was overturning hoses on y'all, man. Dogs, body y'all. Nigga, you can't sit here. And they believe in Christ too, right? So I'm confused. What's the truth? Them loving the loving the so-called white man or loving your own people right, first? The truth is in the Bible. And we're reading right. the Bible, but you have contentions with it. Right. I mean, we brought out the most the scriptures you've ever heard. I can't love my brother. Read Exodus 15 and 3. Look at Exodus chapter 15, <laughs> verse 3. <laughs> the Lord is a man of war. What the Lord say? The, the Lord, Lord is a man of war. war. Read it again. The, the Lord, Lord is a man of war. war. When America goes to war with these other nations, do they show them any type of love? 
No, no, answer the question. When you go to war, do you show that enemy love when you're thrusting him through with a sword? So if, is God a man of war? I'm saying. No, wait, 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 wait. I don't just hold on. Is God a man of war? Is God a man of war? It's ask the question. Is God a man of war? I believe it's not about what you believe. What did the Bible say? Is God a man of war? If I say is war love? Is one key answer the question? Yes, go ahead. Alright, is God I'm gonna say what you want me to say. No, no, brother. I don't want you saying too much too. So answer the question though. Yes, yes. God is a man of war? God is a man of war. Do you show love in war? I'm asking, do you show love in war? No, no, but you asked me, but you won't let me say nothing. All right, or what's your answer? So, so, no, go ahead, go ahead, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say, I'm going to agree with everything. Don't agree, right. brothers, what's the truth? You're right. What do you mean I'm, I'm right? Is, I didn't make a... If this is my brother, like that. No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm asking a question, brother. No, 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 because I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to turn... No, no, you good, brother, you good. No, 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 we know, we debate, brother. Day. It's a righteous debate. We love no, our brothers. No, we love I'm our not brothers. Not debate, but, you know, we're having a conversation. There you go. Right, but hey, you got to answer the questions, though. I'm answering the question. So God is... God is a man all right, and, 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 and when you go to war, do you show your enemy no, love? You don't. you don't. So you said God is love. How does that work? Because I live in the past. Okay. This war still happen? War still happen, but I'm talking about me. Okay. As an individual. All right. I'm not in war. I don't have a gun. What I'm saying is this is my brother. You my brother. I don't care who you are. Based on what I read and based on what I believe. God, whatever y'all believe, it's love. I'm gonna show my brother love no matter what. They All right, what is love according to God? Because you may have your. There's like you said earlier, nine billion people. There's nine billion definitions of love. What is God's definition of love in the Bible? All right. What is it? Let's stand on it. All right, let's go to First John. It's the book of First John, chapter five, verse three. Bring it out. For this is the love of God. That we keep his commandments. That we what? That we keep his commandments. That we what? That we keep his commandments. That's how you know you love God. Verse 2. By this we know that we love the children of God. How do you know you love the children of God? When we love God and keep his commandments. You love God's children or your brother if you keep God's commandments. Who were the commandments given to in the wilderness? Let's read it. I'm, I'm, I don't even want to say it. Let's just read it. Book of Psalms, chapter 119, and verse 142. Yeah. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, right. and thy law is the truth. Right? The law of God is the truth. Right? So that's not what I want. Psalms, chapter 147 and 19. Psalms 147 and 19. So, yes, you are right. The Israelites were giving God's commandments, but not my words. God's words. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 147, verse 19. Bring it out. He showed his word unto Jacob. What? He showed his word unto Jacob. His statues and his judgment unto Israel. No, brother, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, brother, you said you said you had a love. You want to love your fellow neighbors. Now, according to God, keeping the commandments is love, but the commandments were only given to the Israelites. So, who's allowed to love, or who shows love to uh, each other by doing what? Keeping the commandments, brother. And we were given the commandments of God to love each other. Right? So if you want to... Huh? No, you did it, brother. But who are your brothers? Is everybody your brother? Come on, brother. I mean, is everybody your... Be real. Is, is Mark Zuckerberg... If Mark Zuckerberg came down, he said, hey, man. And he's trying to shake your hand. What about, what about Jeffrey Epstein? Is he your brother? What do you mean? You said everybody your brother. Right. Ah. What if you came across Mark Zuckerberg? That's right. I wouldn't know what he looked like. I don't, I don't. I wouldn't know if I saw him walk. If I see him walk, if I knew him, I'd be like, oh, that's Zuckerberg. If I'm I saying. Him, I'd be like, hey, good morning, good afternoon. What Our pedophiles are brothers. <laughs> no, no, I thought everybody was your brother. But your name in the obvious. No, brother. The thing is, your name in the these obvious. people are your brothers, brother. Right. That's what you have to understand. Well, any of these people could be pedophiles or Jeff. But the Lord said you have to love your brother and your neighbor as you love yourself. Not everybody's your neighbor is what we're trying to tell you, brother. Not everybody's your neighbor. You're right. So, so you got to understand, you are a Israelite. 
You have to come back to God in these last days. If not, the Lord is going to destroy two thirds of our people. If you don't come back and repent, we're not really here to convince people. We're here to warn people. Right. Go to the book of Ezekiel 33 and 1. If you don't believe, brother, that's totally fine. But just know in that day, you will believe, man. You will be submitting to the Lord in that day. And guess what? You had a warning in which was today. Read what you got. It's the book of Ezekiel chapter 33, verse 1. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people, and say unto them, when I bring the sword, to what? When I bring the sword, when I bring the sword upon a land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchman, if when he said the sword, Come upon the land, right. he blow the trumpet. Do what? He blow the trumpet. Oh, he is, what, the, what is blowing the trumpet, man? I mean, the brother was so contentious, man. I don't know too. If you don't know too much, humble down and be quiet, man, and learn. Right. Well, I just, I just, uh, what I believe, brother, you were, we're trying to teach you something. Just humble down and learn. Right. But Jake always think he knows something, man. And guess what, man? Walked himself away from the truth, man. The Lord rejects people that don't. Right. Yo, you said what? If he a pale face with blonde hair, he right. shut up and listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He don't do. See, Jay, Jay don't do that in their college lectures. Right. Right. Jay don't do that in their college halls, man. Right. Jay don't interrupt the teacher and say, "Hold on, hold on." Right. I, I, I don't believe that. Right. And they challenge, and, and they challenge Mr. Roth, Rothstein right. in front of his classroom. Yeah, Jay not doing that in front of Mr. Rothstein, man. Right, right with the with the uh, with the he's forty six with glasses. Right, they Jay not doing that to him. That's Mr. Rothstein, huh? Right? He got yeah, he got shorts on. All right, cold as hell. How you not? But the, but the point is, Jake not doing that to uh, 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 their enemies, man. Because the first thing he asked about was what? His enemies, man. He didn't ask about his own people. Right? He didn't, he didn't care about loving his own people, man. He immediately jumped and tried to save Esau. Right. And I think he's dealing with the Edomite. Probably. Something tells me he's dealing with the Edomite. He's dealing with the Edomite woman. He got an Edomite best friend. He may got another Edomite best friend that, you know what I'm saying, that may be doing some things with him or her. I don't know. But guess what? He's dealing with some type of Edomite. Because why are you going so hard to say the heathen? For what? For what? Going so hard for the damn heathen, man. We're, we're both. He said, we're both. Like, he's going to start crying. Just what we start crying for, brother. But that's, that's the thing, man. This, our, our people, that's how I know Israel, man. Our people, man. You know, it's why Go to Psalms 81 and verse 11. That's what I say to you in our day, man. That was a stick. You know? Yeah. Psalms 81 and verse 11. Look at, look at Psalms 81 and 11. Look at Psalms 81 and 11. But my people would not hearken to my voice. Right. And Israel were none of me. Right. So I gave them up until their own hearts. So I gave them up until their own hearts. So when the Lord, see, you gotta understand the Lord. The Lord, He's He's creative at destroying you. The Lord don't gotta send a thousand lightning bolts to destroy you, man. Yeah, He's skillful. The Lord don't gotta do a lot of things to destroy you. What the Lord would do is, if you reject His word, He's just gonna give you up into your own mind, man. That's right. That's like a rebellious child that keeps trying to play in the street. You think the Lord, the Lord don't gotta throw you in the street? The Lord just lets you walk in the street and you just die, man. That's how the Lord works, man. He will just give you up into your own destruction. He will let you walk across that railroad and get hit by a train, man. You don't really got to do too much to destroy you. Israel, you destroy yourself, man. Right? Read on. So I gave them up into their own hearts, lust, and they walk in their own counsels. Oh, that my people had hearkened unto me. Oh, that my people had hearkened unto me. Lord said, oh, if my people just listen to me, man. If God just listen to me, man. Right? What would the Lord have done? And Israel had walked in my ways. I should soon have sub like it. I should soon have subdued their enemy. Their what? Their enemy. Oh, I love everybody. Brother, we got enemies, man. I mean, brothers, look at this side long enough, man. You got enemies. Right. You have enemies. God has enemies. Right. Well, God is love. Well, brother, where you get that from? Right. Right? God is love. For us, go to Isaiah 40 and 17. Right? Go to Isaiah chapter 40. It's not verse 15 and jump to verse 17. 